All right. Um, my name, uh, I know we introduced ourselves earlier, but just real quickly, I'm Mark Drum. I'm a senior instructional designer here in uh, Distance Ed. And I'm going to be talking about a, a game called Sketch Party TV. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to throw things at you. And yes, that I really am going to, to throw things at you. Uh, what I have here is, uh, is, is a foam stress ram. Uh, you might be asking yourself, Mark, why do you have a foam stress ram? <laughs> and, and the reason is, uh, if you look very closely, the, the number for the WCU Counseling Center is on the side of this. And uh, this is a place that HR has recommended to me on more than one occasion. So that's why I have, um, that's why I have a, a, a stress ram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this out into the crowd. Whoever catches it, I want you to throw it to somebody else. And then whoever catches that, I want them to throw it to somebody else. Okay, so three throws, and I yes I know especially with food and everything around it's 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 crazy. Now, now now whoever ends up with it is hopefully not a DE person. If a DE person ends up with it, please throw it to somebody else because we can do this whenever we want. So, um, so all right, all right, Ray, look alive. <laughs> You, well, it's, it's, where is it? Where is it? We can't have lost it already. I mean, come on. I, well, no, hey, whoa, that was too many. It's, 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 it was a good try. I, it's, it was a good try. I give, all right, so that's one. We're going to do another one. All right, here we go. Look alive, Danielle. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to you guys later. <laughs> um, I don't think you can keep it. <laughs> no, you do have to give it back at the end, I'm sorry. Well, I need the number, so it's, <laughs> it's the only way I can get it. Um, Sketch Party TV is a drawing game, similar to Pictionary, or uh, there used to be a game show <laughs> all on called Win, Lose, or Draw, uh, back in the 90s, I think it was. I don't know if you remember that or not. Um, it is available for iOS only, and uh, it costs $4.99. Uh, and the nice thing about that is uh, included in that cost is the ability to make your own list of items to draw. That's the important part uh, in this. Um, in order to play it, you obviously need an iOS device. Uh, in particular, I highly recommend a larger sized iPad uh, and uh, an Apple Pencil. A and the only iPads that can use those are iPad Pros or a sixth generation iPad. Okay. If you don't have that, uh, then if you still have a medium to larger iPad uh, and just one of those styluses, you know, with the black tips at the end that they give out all over the place now, um, you know, that's fine too. I do not recommend. Uh, uh, the smaller iPads, the iPad minis, they're a little too small. Um, I do not recommend other iOS devices like iPhones or iPod Touches because, again, they're also too small. Uh, but they would work um, if, if, you absolutely, if it absolutely came down to it. Um, you also need uh, an AirPlay receiver. Now, what exactly is that? That is a device that connects to a display like this or a projector or something like that that allows the iPad to connect wirelessly to the display using the AirPlay protocol. Okay, this is something that's built into the iPad and Apple's devices, and that's very important. Um, there are a few different things uh, that you can use as AirPlay receivers. Uh, if you have an Apple TV, some of those, some people have those hooked into their TVs at home uh, to, you know, stream Netflix and other stuff like that. Uh, that's one thing you can use. Your laptop can be an AirPlay receiver if, with uh, third-party software. Uh, one of the programs um, that you can use to do that is called AirServer, and I think it costs somewhere like $12 to $15 um, for that software. Uh, and then uh, one other thing that you can use is something called the Immersive Solstice. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, what is the immersive solstice? It's, it sounds very sort of uh, mysterious and, and whatnot. And the good news is that we have these things installed all over campus. Uh, here at Westchester, we call it RAMcast. So uh, with this particular TV, 
uh, we, we have Ramcast installed. Um, we're good to go as far as AirPlay receiver. And I know uh, to, in uh, classrooms all over campus, we're seeing this more and more all over the place. So it's not necessarily something that you probably have to worry about all that much. Um, so that's the good news there. The rules of the game um, is, uh, and again, if you've played Pictionary or anything like that, it's, it's very similar. Um, first player, you're divided up into teams. First player in team one. Uh, will draw on the iPad. They're given something to draw, so they will see that on the iPad. Uh, the people guessing will not see that, that item on the iPad, so uh, it will be a mystery to the people who are guessing. But uh, the people on your team will be shouting out answers, right? They will shout, it'll be shouting out what they think it is. Uh, and they will continue to do that until they get it right, or they decide to pass on to the next item to draw, okay? And that uh, is repeated until um, either the two-minute timer uh, is up or you've guessed five items correctly, okay? Uh, then somebody on the next team comes up, starts drawing, repeats the same process. You can have um, multiple people go back and forth on, on teams. So, you know, however, lo however large you want your teams to be, uh, that's up to you. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually play this now. And in order to do that, we need a couple of people to come up and draw. And guess who those people are? <laughs> so, so you need one, one medium to large iPad for this. Yes, so, although I will talk about that a little bit more yeah, after this. Um, so what we're going to do is let's, let's divide up the room. OK, we're going we're gonna to split the table right down the middle here. You, sir, at the end, you're going to have to decide where your loyalties lie. OK. <laughs> All right. So I, I don't. I... OK. So we'll, we'll have this side be team number one. We'll have this side be team number two. Um, so come on up, drawers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's team one. I don't have to be. You're, you're team two, right? So what is your first name? Jason. Jason? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's get that in here. And where am I? A Amy? Okay. All right, Jason. You ready? Not, but I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so this side of the room, you're guessing now, okay? This side of the room, be quiet. I mean, unless you want to help the other side of the room. Well, <laughs> this, is, this is up to you, all right? You just call out? Yeah, so as soon as you think you know what it is, call it out. All right, so I'm going to hit play. Okay. All right, and I'll, I'll give you this. And your two minutes are going to start, and you'll see the thing, the item up at the top here, okay? Okay. Okay, so hit ready. And that's the thing you have to draw. Okay. Got it. Wow. Well, Hamburger. Big Mac. Sandwich. Sandwich. Bun. Bun. Roll. Bun. Sleep. Tired. Very sad. sad. Crying. Crying. Cry. Tear. Tear. Z. <laughs> Crying. Stop. This is harsh. <laughs> 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 um, um, sad. Tearful. I'm not allowed to talk, right? Yes, you can't. You can't talk. If you need, if you need to, pa if you need to pass, you can do that. Wait, you got it. Okay. Uh, it, oh. It'll come back to it later on. If. Uh, jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> 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 Radio box. House. 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 Community. Barn. Barn, yes. And we. Oh, it's your turn. So there you go. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Way to go. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. We got Cheryl Barn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I saw something. I know already. All right, Amy, no pressure at all. <laughs> no. None. Okay, none whatsoever. Are you ready? 
All right, so hit ready. There you go. Yeah, there's a clear button then. Yep. This is awful. <laughs> <laughs> One again. Track, car, train, bus. Bus. Wow. Wow. You missed something. Matt, he's I'm like literally the worst. Home plate. Home plate. Home plate. Home, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> You're back to the thing before that you passed. There's no way I can draw it. I'm sorry, guys. Seal. That's that's hard. That is that's hard. I you know. That that one was so that's hard. I, I will say that that one that one is hard. So here, it, you know, here it's set up. You can set the number of rounds and whatnot. It's it's set to go on to the next round or whatnot. But at the end, it would give you a final score and and, and whatnot. Um, let me come back to. Oops. So, so, okay, well, this is all fun and everything, but how are we going to use this in the classroom, right? Well, think about all of the subjects where you're drawing something, right? I mean, it, just about any course you can think of, at some point, you're up there on the board, you know, up the board drawing pictures or, or whatnot. Um, you know, just to kind of give some examples, so like, uh, this is my very crude drawing of a heart and I'm pointing to the mitral valve, you know, so anything that uses anatomy, you know, folks down in the College of Health or people who teach biology, that sort of thing. Economics, how many, how many of those, those graphs do economists draw in class? I mean, it seems like all the time they're, they're, they're drawing those things. This is in particular is, is uh, demonstrating equilibrium. Um, if you are teaching how to use a particular piece of equipment or whatnot, right? So here is, is a, um, a microscope, and I'm pointing to the objective lenses on that. Folks who teach music, you know, concepts within music and that sort of thing, this is an arpeggio. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. There are so many courses where, where, and subjects where, where drawing is involved in some way. Here is a way now where you can use that. Um, you know, for, for a couple of reasons. You can use this for assessment. Um, and, and then also, you know, just as a learning tool where the students can learn from each other, right? They, they can sit down and, and play this and, and you can see, you know, oh, okay, this is how I learned to do this particular thing if I can watch somebody draw it out. Um, I'll say one thing too also is that uh, we now have these, these active learning classrooms, right? So this is over in the BPMC where we've got multiple uh, Ramcast TVs. So um, if you can find a way to get your hands on multiple iPads, right, uh, there's no reason why you can't split your class up into smaller groups and have them play individually, 
or well, not individual, but in in these in these smaller groups within the classes like that. So here's a you know we've got these rooms now. Here's a great way of, to take advantage of that. Um, that is is really all that I have to say as far as this is concerned. Um, does anybody have any questions? How yes. hard is it to like just set it up for the newcomer to set it up and play it, with the class? It, it's it's actually you know fairly straightforward. I, I found it to be um, you know to go in and to, and to make your own lists is, is um, you know the I will say the developer did a really great job. I mean they they really thought it out to try and make it as easy as possible. You know, I would recommend um, getting together with an instructional designer, you know, m maybe your first time or whatnot, um, kind of just, you know, work through everything and make sure you've got it all down. Uh, but, but for the most part, I found it fairly easy uh, to, to set up and use. Thank you. Yes. Anything similar on the Microsoft Android side or sides? Not that I've really come across that really works this way. Um, that doesn't mean that you know you couldn't put something together on your own. Like you know, just well, I mean, even even if so. So let's say let's say you have a Surface, right? So you have a Surface, and you could just bring up you know Microsoft Paint and use the stylus that comes with it, and just you know write down a list of things on a piece of paper next to it. I mean, you could kind of come up with a crude version of it on your own, um, but. As far as a, a full package deal is the way that this works, I have not seen anything similar. Uh, that doesn't mean also mean it isn't out there. I just haven't seen it, so there could be. So, yeah. any other questions? All right, thank you.